What is OTT advertising? OTT advertising is delivering ads directly to viewers over the internet through video streaming devices such as connected TV, mobile phones, laptops, and computers. OTT advertising is gaining traction because OTT advertising can be highly targeted. Precise targeting eliminates waste and leads to higher engagement. Moreover, advertisers can manage ad frequency and focus on lost customers. And also, they can quantify their reach with accurate tracking. Why does targeting matter in advertising? Advertisers only want people who are likely to purchase from them to watch their ads to reduce spend waste. Also, placing ads on relevant content makes the advertiser stay true to their brand voice and message. As an OTT service, placing the right ads can create a personalized experience for your audience. How this focus helps the advertisers. Utilizing data-driven advertising allows advertisers to target their audiences more precisely and improve the effectiveness of their marketing efforts. The right exposure can make campaigns more effective. Ad frequency capping satisfies the needs of modern marketers and also gives your audience a non-spammy ad experience. Does measuring an ad campaign matter? Advertisers can determine whether their marketing investments are worthwhile if they know how different ads perform. They can also understand the reach of their campaigns by the analysis of ad skips, ad completions, and click-throughs. This granular level of measurement makes OTT ads appealing to advertisers. Video content publishers were surveyed about how they deliver advertisements to users. The most popular approach was server-side ad insertion at 45% followed by interstitials at 31% and client-side ad insertion at 24%. Now let's understand how CSI works. When viewers watch your videos, the video player, also known as a client, requests an ad from the server when it reaches the ad markers. The ad server responds to the call with an ad. Once the ad is watched, the client sends back tracking information to the ad server. Let's take a look at how CSI works. When your viewer selects video content to be watched, the player requests the content and ads from the server. The server stitches the ads into the video stream and the video player plays ads along with the video without any difference between them. So, what's the difference between the two? In CSI, the player has to explicitly call the ad servers, pause content playback, and start ad playback. Ad blockers can easily detect these calls and block ad playback effectively. On the other hand, in SSI, ads are inserted on the server side along with the actual video content. This makes it difficult for ad blockers to detect and interfere with the ad plays. In CSI, with a large number of data sources, highly personalized ads can be served. In SSI, there can be a limitation in the ad inventory, thus complete personalization and maximizing fillets are not easy. There can be buffering issues in CSI as calls are made between ad server and the actual content, whereas, in SSI, the playback is seamless. Both CSI and SSI have their advantages and disadvantages. You need to leverage the advantages of both these models so that you have an upper hand over your competitors.